Coming first out of the blue corner, Jonathan Lopez. All right, Jonathan Lopez, an arena fully vet here. He's got a 3-4-1 record with five submissions. He's a blue belt, and he's got experience in jiu-jitsu, MMA, wrestling, and kickboxing. And coming next out of the red corner, Nathaniel Chappell. Nathaniel Chapel. He's also with Arena Vet. He's got a 1-0 record with two submissions. He's from Midworld Martial Arts. Um, a blue belt. He's got experience uh, competing under fights to win, arena, finishers, and jiu-jitsu. Alright, round one. Let's go. Both of these guys very active locally. This is one of my most anticipated matches of the night. And you saw this last one at uh, Series 13 was at the World Martial Arts where Nathaniel was from. And Nathaniel was also the ref for that card. And he was able to get a nice good look at uh, Jonathan Lopez's game because Jonathan competed at Series 13-12 or as well. John in on the front headlock. We're right back to the center. Tries to sit there, it doesn't work out. And you see you got Jonathan right in this north-south position. Nice low wide base, and that's a really good way to stop people from throwing the legs over from north-south there. Yeah, so he's got a nice grip on the neck. Maybe we might see him transition into, oh, he let go. I was thinking that maybe he'd go into like a, like, a mounted key to, you know, for that. Nate's throwing the buggy. He's got that buggy. Oh, that looks he's, like his ar tight. he's gotta be, his arm's not quite as deep as he needs it. He's got his legs kind of locked up though. You want to see again buggy chokes. You want to see the person on top starting to uh, posture up. He's got to get that that left arm elbow deep there. Maybe a little Jeremiah Vance fly trap. <laughs> Lopez with a solid pin here, doing a good job knocking his face between the hips. Not really, not really allowing him to get off his back to start setting up any kind of regard. Lopez, it looks like he's doing a really good job with his right arm there, keeping those hips immobilized. Not letting uh, Chapel kind of start to hip escape out and get that bottom knee inside. Not even just the hip escapes. Like, he, he can't, like, hear exactly. He, he wants to pop up so that he can get to his buggy chokes and things like that. So Lopez was trying to keep that arm at his hip to kind of prevent this from happening. But you see Nathaniel is kind of, he's at least recovered a half guard so far. He's got that lockdown. No underhooks, though. A little bit of a smother. Nate throwing the rubber. And Middle of Martial Arts is also a 10th Planet school, so we are definitely seeing the 10th Planet influence here tonight by Nate. For sure. I'd like to see him be more active with his frames. He's kind of not really throwing up anything with his arms as far as frames go. And that's allowing Lopez to just stay really low and tight. Yeah, you can see, like, Lopez just has, like, you know, he's having this really heavy cross face going on. You know, he's staying really heavy with his upper body. Yeah. Reaching around over the top isn't going to do very good here. He's really got to start framing and pushing that head away and try to try to create some sort of space between between their chests. Nate content to sit there in this lockdown. Much better job getting the cross face in there. Lopez has a pick up against the cage here. I know that's where it's unfortunate. You see Lopez, he's trying to, he's got his head underneath Nathaniel's, you know, armpit, elbow now. But 
because of the cages there, if you want to just switch to like a knob choke, you know, it's just probably not going to be there unless he can finish it from just a straight top position. Lopez looking, yeah, Lopez looking a little bit bigger. It looks a little thicker than, than Nate. Maybe there's a slight little weight difference here. I'm wondering if that's coming in, playing a factor at all. He's got that. He's got that arm across. He was trying to pass. There he goes to mount now. now let's see what he can do with the cage on the other side of him here, because that, that's 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 fairly deep. And he's trying to get that lead through. He just doesn't have the space though, because the cage is there. You know, it's can't really. I'd like to see him go to that kind of Eddie Bravo finish in the center there. That's where it's, uh, the cage can be. Certain, can certainly help you with an advantage, but it can also be a disadvantage you, depending on what it is that you're looking for at the time. We got another one of our competitors you're going to see here tonight, Nick Mancini, in the corner here for John Lopez. See if Nate's approach is a little different now that he got cooked underneath a little bit. Let's see how he approaches the second round. Yeah, you see Lopez kind of standing. He stands a little tall and he really is trying for a little bit more of like a clinch. Instead of just like, you know, just one call at a time, he's going for the move. Like he may be trying to find his way back on top of the head like he did early in the first round. Looks like he's trying to pull that head underneath. There it is. Yeah, so he might have felt from that first round that, you know, if he got onto Nate's head again, that he would be able to just bring it right to the mat, which he just pretty much just did again. Back here in this smashed half guard lockdown position. trying to get back to that head nod position that he had at the end of the first round. Uh, now that they're out in the center here, he would have a much better shot at finishing that. I like the patience out of Lopez. Not rushing anything, keeping good pressure, staying fundamentally sound. Trying to cover the mouth there, make him a little uncomfortable. I'd rather see him just nice, yes. trying to do some hip escapes. Now try Bob. Now try Bob. Now try Bob. Yeah, so we got kind of the uh, Gordon Ryan passing half guard special there. It's all Very the nice. Heavy pressure, tripod up, and then just pass like right in. Beautiful from John Lopez. He's got a bump. He's got to turn to the side. He's exposing that arm. He's got a, he's got a gift wrap now. Yeah, he's got a really tight gift wrap. Yeah, he's Lopez keep pushing that over the down. I want to see him pop up the technical mount when he hits those big bridges and take the back off it. Maybe another head and arm. I think he's trying to switch off to that head and arm choke. Maybe he thought that, you know, now that he's got more room off of the cage, he could be a little bit more successful with it. But you see Nathaniels, he's trying to collect his leg and maybe go into like start again. Yeah. He's start thinking about an arm bar here. Oh, he's switching up. John, going to the arm bar. Nice. Palm strike the elbow. Palm strike the elbow. Palm strike that elbow. Ready to go. He's gonna put, he's pushing him. Got him extended. Nice turn, he's gonna go belly down and he's gonna lose it. Good job by Chapel. Nice escape. Oh, he's Nick in on a toe hold. I'm sorry, Nate in on a toe hold. Wow. Look at that, escaping an arm on you and right into attacking a toe hold. Yes! Take him, take him right there. Get your heel up here. 
Looking to dig for that he owes Lopez. All right. Lopez is trying to get a bite under. He can't quite get it, though. He's a little bit on the ankle, so maybe he's trying to switch to, like, a straight ankle instead. Trying to peel it to the outside now. Mm -hmm. You got to twist to me here. Chapel trying to turn this oh. into a shootout. This is a lot more promising. He's dropped that knee inside. And he gets the tap. Very nice out of John Lopez. I don't even think he got under the heel. So he must have done a good job there with, uh, with the pressure on the knee. Yeah, I think his legs. I think it was when he dropped that, uh, I believe it was his left knee inside, more to that 80-20 position. He was putting a lot of pressure on the side of the knee there. Seeing a lot of leg locks this event. Yeah, and a lot of 50-50 too, you know, and 50-50 is... You, you see that more like the IBJJF tournaments, you know, because of the guys who play the straight ankle, you know, because they, they don't have a leg lock option, so they play a lot of 50-50, especially in the key. Um, but you just, you don't see a lot of 50-50 anymore when it comes to, like, just straight newbie submission only grappling. Lopez running out. Looks like he's ready to get after it here in this third round. Right? I mean, he's got to be pumped. He's up one nothing. you know. Uh, Nathaniel's got to, he's got to get a submission, you know, this, this third round if he wants it to go into overtime. He's a bit of trouble dealing with the pressure pass on the head Lopez. He's having trouble creating frames that are making any type of meaningful space for him to move underneath of Lopez. Yeah, he's a little too accepting of just kind of letting his... Like his legs get a little disconnected from his body and for being a little, he, he's accepting being flat, you know, which someone who's just this pressure boxer, this is exactly where, yeah. where he wants out. You gotta find a way to up to your side or underneath the hips of a guy like that. John, I think, yeah, we're gonna see John pass off it here, just in that quarter guard. Yep, so from here, yeah. Yep, settle into the mount. I mean, he's got both arms underneath in the armpit, so he's got his arms available to attack him. Yeah, if I know John, he smells blood right now. He's not content just coasting this one out and winning 1-0. Yeah, he's hot for sure. He's looking for the body triangle here. He's already up in the right. But Lopez got really nice control of the back here. Even though he's only got one hook in, he's got his outside hook like in his thigh. He's got it now. He's in that high ball ride with yeah. the one-on-one -on, -one on the top side. Because he's still basically what this does, even though you don't have both hooks in. You try and your legs, you've got control of hips. Ooh, he's got nice yeah. one trick set up. And now he's going to cut out to the side. This, this is going to be tight. Oh, this is going to be tight. And he gets the tap. Very nice out of Jonathan Lopez. Lopez did a great job making adjustments as that match went on. I think the tail of the tape here was pressure. Yes. And he kind of weaponized that lockdown against Jack. Yeah, I'm all right. Uh, Nate's a very tough guy. Hats off to Nate. Uh, hear nothing but good stuff about him. Uh, I've seen him compete a lot, so this matchup is exciting. It's very exciting for him. How did you feel competing at this point tonight, right? Things are starting to quiet down. You hear everything. I mean, how did that affect you being able to hear both of these points? Thank you.